Welcome to today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Citizenship, sustainability, and responsibility. These three words represent the mission of Webster Bank's Office of Corporate Responsibility. Here with more on how they're impacting our communities is Marissa Widener, Chief Corporate Responsibility Officer at Webster Bank. Marissa, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. So give us a little background on Webster Bank and why the Office of Corporate Responsibility was created. So Webster Bank's been in the community for a very long time, especially right here in Connecticut, but we've broadened our foot Print. Now we span from Long Island all the way up through Boston and Rhode Island. So that happened as a result of a merger with Sterling National Bank that closed on February 1st of the, this year. Actually, we're about to close out the year. So now we're about a $70 billion organization. Wow. Um, you know, yes, we've grown in size for sure. And speaking more about the Office of Corporate Responsibility, because we grew into this large organization, as we were integrating the two companies, we really spent a lot of time on what are we going to do to set ourselves apart. And we put together the Office of Corporate Responsibility, and that brings together um, various components of community engagement. So all banks have to respond to the Community Reinvestment Act, and so we have our CRA program, our Fair and Responsible Banking program under the Office of Corporate Responsibility. We have a supplier diversity program that we're building. We have um, community investment, engagement, and philanthropy, as well as government relations, public affairs, and ESG, environmental sustainability and governance. So you're doing a lot. For, we're doing a lot. For the community. Yes. You mentioned philanthropy is a big part of what you do, but there's also, you know, investing in our communities. How are you doing this? So philanthropy is important, but it has to go beyond that. Right. So in terms that we've actually launched as part of our Office of Corporate Responsibility, our community investment strategy. It's a $6.5 billion strategy over three years. And as part of that, philanthropy, but also um, community development lending, small business lending, specifically targeting minority and women-owned businesses. We're also um, doing um, finance labs, launching those with respect to philanthropy, affordable housing, um, investment. So there's there's a variety of ways that we're investing in the communities. And uh, you mentioned the finance labs. Tell us more about that. I know it's just one of the projects you're working we're on. We're very excited about our <laughs> finance labs. So we launched those this year and they're being funded through our Webster Bank Charitable Foundation. We're investing $100,000 to kick off. Basically, it's financial literacy, it's financial curriculum, it's financial empowerment, but it's youth development, it's youth leadership. And so we've done two in New York and we actually just announced our first one in Connecticut uh, in Bridgeport with the Wakeman Boys and Girls Club. We're very excited about That's that. That's an amazing resource for people. How can um, people in the community get involved in something like that? So first of all, they can take part in these uh, nonprofit organizations, right, that are actually offering them. So the one thing we do know at Webster is we're a bank. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to pretend to be something that we're not. Right. We're a bank. We're going to invest in the nonprofit partners that can execute on our vision. So our vision is to create economic vitality in the communities that we serve and help people be more financially empowered. So we're partnering with those nonprofits that can execute on that vision. Wonderful. And, you know, finally, before we go, why do you think it's important for, uh, you know, large companies like your own to be involved in the communities in this way? It makes business sense. So it's the right thing to do, and we all need to do what's right. Um, when we talk about sustainability, you, you make your business sustainable by doing the right thing by the communities. And then with respect to, you get a return on your investment. When we launched our community investment strategy, or should I say, when we developed it, we didn't do it in a vacuum. We met with over 100 nonprofit organizations to hear what their needs are. So if you're going to invest in your community and sustainability and corporate responsibility, don't do it thinking that you know the answer. Reach out to the community partners and find out exactly what they need. The one other thing I want to mention is we also have launched community liaison officers in our communities. So we have community liaisons spanning the whole footprint, and they're specifically working with people in our communities to help them get their first home, you wow. know, be able to finance their first home. Right. I mean, incredible work that you're doing. Um, thank you so much for coming on today. Marissa Widener from Webster Bank. Thank you. thank you. And, of course, you can learn more at public.websteronline.com. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Thanks for watching.